two police officers, bystander shot dead at Queensland property, manhunt underway. Two police officers and another person have been shot dead at a Queensland property. A manhunt is underway for the offenders. Police were fired on while visiting the property at Weambilla, about 300 kilometers west of Brisbane, in relation to a reported missing person from NSW. Two police officers died at the scene while a third person died later, a third officer suffered a bullet graze and is in hospital and a fourth officer managed to escape after the shooting. The scene was likened to an ambush, sources told the Brisbane Times, with some reports suggesting the offenders were heavily armed and possibly wearing camouflage. Queensland police declared an emergency situation just after 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Queensland Police Commissioner Katerina Carroll confirmed the fatalities in a media conference earlier this evening. It is with deep sadness that I confirm the deaths of three people, including two officers, during an incident in the Western Downs late this afternoon, Carroll said. Four officers attended a property on Waynes Road in Weambilla in relation to a reported missing person from New South Wales. Tragically, while in attendance, two officers were shot and declared deceased at the scene. A member of the public was also shot and is deceased. Another officer received a bullet graze and is receiving treatment in hospital. A fourth officer managed to escape the property and is also receiving treatment. She said the police helicopter and specialist officers were involved in searching for the offenders and we urge the public to stay away from this exclusion zone. Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk said the entire state would be in shock and sadness. I extend my deepest respects to their families and to the Queensland Police Service family as a whole, Palaszczuk said. Our police risk their lives every day to keep us safe. I know Queensland joins with me in expressing our shock and sadness. Police Minister Mark Ryan said the Queensland Police Service has lost two heroes tonight. This is a tragedy on so many levels and the thoughts of all of us are with the police family tonight, Ryan said. This is a traumatic, confronting and devastating event for our community. I express my sincere condolences to their family, friends and colleagues and the entire police family. These officers served with honor and we will always remember their sacrifice in service of our community. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese paid tribute to the slain officers. Terrible scenes in Weambilla and a heartbreaking day for the families and friends of the Queensland police officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty. My condolences to all who are grieving tonight, Australia mourns with you. Federal Liberal Party leader and former Queensland police officer Peter Dutton said the news out of western Queensland was deeply distressing. Police officers face danger every day to keep us from it, he said. Queensland police will provide another update in the morning, Carol said. Wayne's Road is closed and an exclusion zone remains in place encompassing the area between Chinchilla Terra Road, Weambilla Road, Bennett School Road and Mary Street. Members of the public have been urged to avoid the area and nearby residents asked to stay inside as the offenders remain on the run. Weambilla is a remote locality with a population of 93 people, according to the 2016 census, the closest rural towns are Chinchilla and Condamine. Dalby, the regional hub of the Western Downs, is just over an hour away by road. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for more up-to-date news.